Hi there, Tony Sycamore here, IG's market analyst for Australia. Well, US equity markets tanked overnight as yield soared on the back of a red hot job openings report, which reinforced a message from the recent FOMC that yields will need to stay higher for longer to cool the economy. Hawkish Fed speak stronger than expected data, and of course, the shock removal of House Speaker McCarthy has added a lot of uncertainty into the mix ahead of the release of the non-farm payrolls report on Friday night. Let's take a look at the chart of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ, starting with the S&P 500, to see where they're lining up ahead of that key economic data. Now, what you can see here is the S&P 500 has been in an uptrend really since this October 34.91 low. Our thoughts were that the S&P was undergoing a correction from this 46.07 July high, which would start to bottom out in this area here. We did see some tentative signs of basing middle of last week. However, you can see the S&P 500 rejected this August 43.35 low on Friday and then proceeded to break down through that uptrend support. Now, not far below that uptrend support is the critical 200-day moving average. And our view was that this area should hold, which was reinforced by that 200-day moving average. So while the S&P is wobbling, we do not have a confirmed invalidation of our corrective scenario, which we've been outlining in our videos. If, conversely, the S&P 500 was to accelerate below this 200-day moving average, then it looks like we are set for a deeper decline somewhere down into this 3,900, 3,800 area. Looking at the NASDAQ 500, the chart actually remains incredibly corrective. You can see this impulsive rally up since March of this year, which took us up to this 15,932 high. The correction has unfolded in three waves. There's your wave A, your wave B, and your wave C. Now, when I look at this wave C, it appears to be missing a final leg lower down in this 14,200 to 14,000 support area. So the view with the NASDAQ remains incredibly constructive, and this is your high beta index. So to me, this is the leader of market movements. So while we hold above this area, I still think the NASDAQ can rebound into year end, but it must not break below 14,000, nor must it break below 13,600. So they're the levels we're watching for this week. Thank you for listening. 